Hi, this is Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm gonna to show you how to test the defrost heater on your refrigerator or freezer to see if it is good or bad. When the defrost heater fails, it will cause the automatic defrost cycle to stop working, and the evaporator coil will start to accumulate with frost. This frost will block airflow and cause the temperatures in the freezer or refrigerator to start to rise. To test your defrost heater, you'll need to unplug the refrigerator or freezer and disconnect the wires to the defrost heater. Here I have a few of the most common style defrost heaters. This is a cow rod style heater. This is a glass tube heater. And this is an aluminum tube heater. All of these can be tested in the same manner. Before you can test the defrost heater, you'll need to unplug the refrigerator or freezer and disconnect the wires going to the defrost heater. To test the defrost heater, you'll need to use a multimeter to do an ohm test. Please note that a continuity test will not work on some defrost heaters because the ohm value is too high to register on a continuity test. If you have an auto ranging multimeter, then turn it to the ohm setting. If you have a manual ranging multimeter, then you'll need to set it to the lowest ohm setting. Place one of each of the probes on each of the heater's wires or terminals. You should get an approximate reading of 10 to 150 ohms. If the display on the meter does not change, or if your ohm reading is far off from that, then you have a bad heating element. If your defrost heater has a defrost thermostat wired in series like this one, you'll need to make sure the thermostat is cooled down below its closing temperature before doing the ohm test. For more information on how the defrost thermostat works, please see our video linked in the description below. Here I have two defrost heaters. By visually looking at them, you cannot tell which one is good and which one is bad. By doing an ohm test, we can easily find that this element is good, and that this element is bad. If you find that you have a bad defrost heater and you need to purchase a new one, you can purchase one from our online store by clicking the link in the description below. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more appliance repair videos. And if you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button below. You can also stay up to date by liking us on our Facebook page and following us on Twitter.